Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we're gonna to talk today about a Visual Studio Code alternative called VS Codium. Now, just the other day, I did a video about Atom. Atom was GitHub's uh, open source source code editor. Uh, it also gave us Electron, which ironically enough, Visual Studio Code is built on. But when Microsoft purchased GitHub, they found themselves in charge of two open source code editors and ultimately Visual Studio Code 1. Now, there are a lot of things to like about Visual Studio Code. It's actually what I use for the majority of my work myself, and I know a lot of you use it as well, but I also know a lot of you not so keen on the Microsoft side of things. And perhaps you didn't know this. Visual Studio Code is an open source project, but Visual Studio Code that you download from code.visualstudio.com is not. You'll, not. you'll notice there is a proprietary license right here. It also has built-in telemetry and they have their own uh, third party or for sale items on their marketplace. So when you look at it, it isn't a fully open source project when you download binaries from them. Uh, but you'll notice if we go to version 1.68, remember that number. Uh, but if you go to Visual Studio Code uh, GitHub page and you build it from source yourself, it is under the MIT license. It doesn't get those uh, proprietary extensions or the uh, telemetry information or the other things that you need to agree to. Now, a lot of you probably did not realize that this Visual Studio code that you download from Microsoft isn't the exact same thing as what you get from the GitHub repository. Now, if the idea, though, of being fully open source but not wanting to build your code editor from scratch every time it updates doesn't appeal to you, that's where today comes in. VS Codium is a free slash Libra open source software binaries of Visual Studio code. Basically, you can think of them as a build server uh, for Visual Studio Code. They stay up to sync with the most recent releases. Uh, you got some details of why it exists, mostly what I just told you about. The version that you download is not uh, open source. It has telemetry tracking information in it. Uh, you can opt out of most of the telemetry at least, but in this particular case, you are outright. It's disabled. It is not there. Uh, there are a number of ways to download this guy. You can use uh, Package Manager, Apt, Winget, um, I believe, so there's Snap, there's also Apt. So there's a ton of different ways to get this guy. You can also go ahead and just straight out download the binaries. You'll notice it builds for pretty much every platform you can conceive of, uh, as you can see from this list. The last build was a few days ago, so four to six days ago. As I said earlier, that number 1.68 is important to remember. They are up to date with the most recent versions of Visual Studio Code. So if you'd like the idea, Visual Studio Code, but no Microsoft, well, this is all you need to do. Go ahead and download one of these binaries or use a build server. There are a few things to be aware of. One of the biggest things is the extension side of things, but we'll get back to that in a second. I'm just going to go ahead and show you this one. I already did the install. I installed it this way. If you do a brew install, it's I've already got it, so we're not getting an error, but that's all you need to do to install it on Mac. Uh, on Windows, uh, again, there's WinGit, or you can download the, the packages, packages, or again, you can use AppGit or a number of different ways on Linux platforms. So there are a ton of ways to get it. Instead of running it as code, however, you run it as Codium, and then you pass in a directory or whatever. This here, ladies and gentlemen, is Codium. You're gonna notice it looks pretty much identical to Visual Studio Code because functionally it is with a few exceptions. First off, again, all of the Microsoft proprietary stuff, the telemetry, the tracking and all that have been removed. Otherwise it is the same thing. The other aspect, probably the deal breaker for any of you that have a deal breaker for using this guy is the extensions. So there are, it, first off, it installs less uh, installs no default extensions. And what you're gonna find is Visual Studio Code is increasingly putting more and more extensions on your machine out of the box. So if you wanna have a less bloated, more streamlined experience uh, without having to uninstall extensions yourself, this is a clean sheet. Now, the problem here is, uh, oops, wrong direction. There is, um, a, a limit on what's available. So this is using openvsx.org. Uh, if your stuff is not on those extensions, you're going to have to go ahead uh, and get them yourself. There's a couple of different options for getting them. You can get them to install to that page uh, and so on. Here are your various different supported platforms. So pretty much most major platforms you care about. Uh, the extensions are actually handled through the openvsx registry. This is available at open-vsx.org. So before you switch over to this guy, you might want to check to see that the essentials that you're most interested in have been uploaded here. You can also download a visual extension file. I think it's VS. IX. Uh, if you've got it already installed, it tells you where the folders are. You can pull your extensions over from your um, Visual Studio Code side of things, but the automatic registry, the updating and such, it's only going to happen if the extension is available here. Now, the good news is a lot of the most popular extensions are here. None of the commercial or paid extensions are here. Just one of those things to be aware of. But if you have a couple of extensions that you absolutely require to 
to function in Visual Studio Code, check with this extension uh, repository to make sure that it's here first. Again, if it isn't, you know, if you're willing to jump through some hoops, uh, there are options there. So you can download the VSXI file, install it that way. You can copy your extensions over from an existing Visual Studio Code install. Just I don't think you're going to get updates when that happens. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, that there is VS Codium. Uh, so this is an open source built version of Visual Studio Code. I am a big fan of Visual Studio Code. I'm actually not that hyped on my, I'm, I'm not that concerned personally, but I know for some of you, it is a huge deal. So if you like the idea of using Visual Studio Code, but you don't like the idea of using a Microsoft product, well, that's what VS Codium is for you. The best example I could think of is the Chromium browser for, uh, it's, you know, Chrome is not open source. Chromium is. People have Chrome Chromium builds you can download, so it's kind of like Google Chrome without the Google. And let's, if if I'm honest, in my opinion here, I trust Google a heck of a lot less than I trust Microsoft. But I don't particularly trust either of them. So I can understand the appeal for a product like this. If you do not want that telemetry information in there, you want all of your extensions to be free and open source and promised that way. VS Codium is the way to go. So if you want to go ahead and check this one out, there's a number of ways to build it, but it's also available at vscodium.com, which I'll have in the linked article down below as well. So let me know what you think. Have you used VS Codium? And if so, did you run into any any problems with it. Uh, do be aware, uh, if you go to the uh, more info section, uh, they do have some details here on, so more info, and then you actually click uh, more info over here to the documented. Uh, what you're going to find is, again, there's some details here on how to uh, get various extensions over, etc. Some of the problems you may actually run into. Uh, you'll notice some of their proprietary tools uh, are very restrictively licensed. Uh, so you're going to have some issues there. A couple of the suggestions and workarounds are there for you. So just do be aware, there are some things you probably won't be able to do in VS Codium that you can currently do, or at least easily do in Visual Studio Code. Uh, but Again, if you want to de-Microsoft your life, this is one of the best options out there because Visual Studio Code is a great product in my opinion. But I'd love to hear what your opinion is. Let me know, comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.